Hello, everybody, and welcome to this what we're calling emergency episode of the No Name Podcast. I'm Mr. Um, Moopsy. Emergency episode. Well, we're calling it an emergency episode because there's kind of like a limited time frame revolving the story that we want to do. Ah, so right. So we're yeah, just kind of the... doing like a short form. Yeah, because there's an earthquake in the podcast world, so we gotta you know do emergencies before it shuts well, down. Well, gaming world in general, but yeah. <laughs> Are you making it sound like we're in the middle of a hurricane or something? I'm yeah, speaking of right which, <laughs> Hurricane Tron. Tron Lake. Her, her Hurricane <laughs> Jazz over here and shit, man. Like, yo. A <laughs> real emergency is that he's not sharing his chicken. I know. That, that is. Uh, <laughs> that is. Uh, need to know that. <laughs> that is the, the, tr- the truest of travesties going like, on. Send, right send now. it. Send it through your DSL line electronically. <laughs> no, it's too much work and also too expensive. <laughs> like uh, a little lump uh, of uh, a little leg uh, shaped chicken running through the uh, cable. <laughs> Gallo the worst. <laughs> Gallo the worst. The worst that humanity has to offer. <laughs> Damn right, and you can catch us all here in this podcast. Anyway, can we begin to continue the introductions here? Or? Yes, this is Cosmo Jazz, just in case you didn't know. And I don't have chicken. Wink. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh no, the wink will let him know. <laughs> I'm Baker, FPS extraordinaire, or at least I think I am in my dreams. You got platinum. I did get platinum for Modern Warfare, yes. <laughs> Dang, already? Was, That's what I was... said. Like it was, I'm it was, surprised. it was easier than you think. If you want to talk about a hard platinum to get, try the Yakuza series. We're getting sidetracked, gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> about my awesome platinum. And then there's Venom. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am here because they called me for the emergency, and I put on a pair of underwear, and here I am. <laughs> I did not wow. need to know that last part. At all. Putting on <laughs> underwear? Holy shit, my man. You are going all out for us. Yo, thank you for your service. Exactly. <laughs> Nasty. <laughs> we need to appreciate you more. You don't get appreciated enough. Uh, yeah, I, I'm yep. going to ask this question. Ask, I, I'm going to ask this question to Jazz in private because I feel like he's thinking the same thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like what kind of underwear does Venom have on right now? <laughs> <laughs> now that I will keep a secret. Let the fans. Duke it out in the, the comments. <laughs> you really oh, out here no. being a, you, first. You hardly show up for any episodes of the podcast, and then when you do show up, you be a goddamn tease like this. Yo, I won't have it. I'm a man of mystery. What can I say? You're a slut. That's what you are. <laughs> yeah. Okay. We were thinking the same thing. Okay. Moving yeah. on. <laughs> <laughs> If you're if people are going to be watching this podcast through the stream, they'll know exactly what we were asking. Mm-hmm. But moving on to our emergency topics. Yes. We have the Tekken Seven frame data debacle that is happening currently right now, as well as the thing that just won't die apparently, Fallout seventy six. <laughs> oh great! What are, what are they trying to do now? Well, oh, you'll see. <laughs> <laughs> but uh let's hit up the the bigger one right now which is the tekken 7 one so to those who do not know tekken 7 just recently had a tournament called tokyo masters where michael murray and harada just recently announced what the next part of the dlc for the season pass would be which should be frame data now they went to go into detail with this but the way they did it was kind of meh to be honest. Uh, But basically what the thing was is that they're going to have like a frame data like system to show you when things happen. Like say you do a jab, you know that it's 10 frame jab or whatever and it's negative so such and so forth. It's going to show you that on screen. Now that's the only thing that they're going to be charging you for is that system. How much? Now that's the we'll, we'll, get be, that. we'll get into that later. Okay. <laughs> He's so into this story. <laughs> <laughs> but literally that's the only thing they're really charging you for. Everything else that they were kind of explaining, like say the replays with the tips that are adding, all kinds of new sample combos, 
and the punishment practice are all coming in a free update. Oh, okay. Mm. So, I think the way they explained it on the stream didn't help, though. Because they, there, a lot of people are thinking that that's all going to be included in the price when it's not. But at the same time, apparently they had to switch something up because they were running short on time at the Tokyo Masters event. So they ended up explaining it after the actual, um, whatever the word I'm missing right now is, <laughs> a is presentation. It something? Like it, it got lost in translation. Yeah. Yeah, during the presentation. Mm-hmm. More rhymes. <laughs> Bars. Um, <laughs> Sorry, that's all the time we have. We're going <laughs> to fuck you over. Bye. <laughs> Never. <laughs> but now I guess we can get into the price, right? Mm-hmm. So technically, technically, they didn't give an exact price. But the thing was, it was going to be either 3 or $4. Oh, that's not too bad. I I personally don't even think that that's bad at all. Mm -hmm. It's just that the main issue that people have with that was that uh, they were charging $4 for a thing that other fighting games already had in the game. Which I kind of have beef with, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I, I, I understand the frustration. I understand everyone's frustration, right? Mm -hmm. I get it. It's it's deep. It's very well deep rooted in logic. Like, yeah, no one wants to pay for something that other games have, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right? And Tekken has never had it. Mm -hmm. Tekken has never had the frame data, and you know now that they're like, you know what? Let's 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 develop this. Like, okay, let's do it. Let's join now everybody that, else. Yeah, like it's just become a part of the norm for for them to have it in there now. And then it's like when they do something good, people are, are just ready to shit on it. It was just like, well, well, this game already had... I'm going to go with an easy target here this time, right? It's like, well, Street Fighter V has it. And it's like, who do you know Who do you know that likes Street Fighter V? Does Street Fighter V even have it? I don't think they yeah. do. They don't? I thought it did. No, what I'm pretty poor... sure it does. Like, what I'm a poor sure. example. I don't, I don't own the game. You sure uh, they have the even... frame data thing in there? I don't even think Sam Show has frame data. It doesn't. I can tell you that right off that. Okay, so a lot of games <laughs> don't have it. So like fucking it, Sam Show, right? <laughs> <laughs> like like a lot of games don't have it. So it's just like, hey, you know, thank you for the support. We're only going we're only trying to make our game better. Then they try to make the game better and then this is how people act. Mm -hmm. Never well, never well, I kinda feel like too, like the reason why Harada's doing all this is because you know they want newer, newer beginners to play Tekken. Yeah, yeah exactly. Especially, especially with how difficult it could be with it being a three D fighter. Just getting into playing games as it stands. People don't know how to punish in Tekken. That's why people like me made guides on it mm, to help yeah. people get better at the game. And then now the game implements it itself. Now I feel like I'm going out of business. <laughs> 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 oh yeah, because they can't. I, I, I they they the need those four dollars. <laughs> I mean, that's the that's the beauty of the paywall, though, because then that means that they have to go to Eddie for business. Because if they're not willing to pay, they're gonna have to watch the video. Hmm. <laughs> Although I did now, I did want to bring this up about that whole like four dollars thing, mm -hmm. and like the fact that other games apparently have it. Now mm -hmm. I do want to confirm this with Moopsy since he's played the game more than I do. With Dead or Alive, do it's only in the practice mode, right? I believe so, yes. Okay, so here's the big thing about what they're doing in Tekken. It's not just going to be in the practice mode. It's also going to be in arcade. It's also going to be in treasure mode. It's also going to be in uh, player matches. So you can literally be playing with your friends and have it on. Hmm. Right. That is actually uh, a pretty uh, different detail. That is objectively awesome. Like, literally, that's the thing I feel like people keep missing when they keep bringing that point up. Like, all these other things have it, but they don't have it like that. Also, that is, that is I, I also feel like that, that like, there's probably like some developmental side that it's actually more complicated to read it, like, uh, to, like, add it to other sections of the games. And people just think, oh, you just basically copy-paste and it just works instantly on the other side. Exactly. That's a whole other thing in itself. Yeah. 
Yeah, I feel like I feel like those people are just all have always been always yeah, well, they've always been, they always will be jealous of Tekken's success because they can't keep up in it. Then here's the game giving you the resources to uh giving you the resources to be successful in it. And they're just like, wow, what is this shit? Well, question, well, uh, yes, because I was going to ask, uh, were, weren't, a, weren't a lot of the people that were complaining about, like, the, the feature and price point and all that stuff Tekken players? Not necessarily. Like, there were a couple here and there, but a majority of the known ones liked the idea to the point they're like, yeah, I'm getting that day one. Mm. It was a lot of outside people that were really doing it. Like, say, um, what is the twins' name? Uh, who they usually do catch up and much up, uh, catch up oh, and mustard. Catch uh, up and mustard. Yeah. Mortal. Like they brought it up, there was just like this is weird or whatnot, and I don't think people were really explaining to them how this stuff works, because a lot of the time it's followed up with, why are all these options under a paywall instead of this one thing? Mm, okay. Now, some of them, they, they understand and they're still not okay with the whole frame data thing. And to the extent, I understand. I'm not saying that it's uh, the end all be all. Y'all should just shut up and uh, deal with it. No, I get it. Yeah, Jess isn't just going around grabbing his crotch telling you, suck this. Exactly. <laughs> but at the same time, you can suck it. You can all suck it. <laughs> <laughs> but no, at the same time, a part of me even thinks that a lot of these people who were complaining weren't probably going to use it in the first place. <laughs> like the, the people that were whining about the frame data being in the game were still the same people that were going to get freed up by any Yoshi Mitsu player. Exactly. Like it, it wasn't never going to benefit them because they're not going to use it. And mm -hmm. even if they did have the resources to use it, they wouldn't, they wouldn't be able to retain the information anyway because, you know, small brain. Mm-hmm. Plus, I imagine like uh, there's a good chunk of them that were probably thinking to themselves, "Why would I pay for something that I'm never gonna use?" I like it's that like the the the, the dumb people that fucking think that the, I have to buy every DLC even if I hate it. Mm hmm. It's it's just one of those weird things where like I see both sides, but I'm siding with one a little bit more, mainly because I see more good there than the other to me. <laughs> With, the, with their, where they're coming from. And it's like you said, Moopsie. This was definitely not cheap. Because for anybody who doesn't... who Another reason I kind of bring up Mortal Kombat on this one. When it comes to Mortal Kombat, there's barely any moves to a character. Let's be honest here. Like, literally, Scarlet has maybe... 20 plus, 20 plus moves at best. At best. And versus... she and she has the lowest amount mm -hmm. among among the lower amount. She doesn't have that many. Mm -hmm. I, don't know, that I feel like uh, Cabal too. He has like really low. He is another one that's very low. Mm -hmm. But you take that to any Tekken character, it doesn't compare. Absolutely even, not. Even nope. Akuma, literally, who's a barely kind of a Street Fighter character that doesn't have that many moves, has more moves than probably any of the more combat characters. <laughs> I can agree, and like this is coming from like a, a recently uh Tekken casual. Mm. Which is uh, which is ironic because I remember Scorpion in MK9 and 10 had the lo lo least amount of moves. And now in 11 he has like a lot more moves to work with now. Mm-hmm. So then, yeah, but then you look at Scarlet and Cabal, and they really don't have that much to work with. Mm -hmm. They do have that sick Terminator kick, though. Oh, oh God. But they do have it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo, y'all are really diminishing Terminator's down three right now, and I don't think I appreciate this. Team Jason's I down not... three? <laughs> hey, 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 shh, shh, shh. It's 2019. It's Terminator. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, I will not tolerate this this uh reused asset that yo wait a minute hold on i'm going off on a tangent here like, visually speaking, <laughs> he's got him going it, it would be jason's all like scratched out and they wrote terminator on it with like cheap marker did, did any did anybody give any of the developers shit for practically reusing the animations for that absolutely it's everywhere <laughs> i'm sure it's one of the biggest memes right now mm -hmm. 
they literally have there was one meme i saw where it's like who would do it better and they had one with jason doing it and one with terminator doing it <laughs> and mm-hmm. then like it's like like or uh or a retweet and the retweets actually won and it was like terminator was the retweet version like <laughs> i wonder how funny it would be if they uh like as part of the meme nether realm was showing a picture of like oh here's a picture of sindel in action and she's doing the exact same kick <laughs> I hope not. It's just a frame. Don't, <laughs> like a don't, don't, <laughs> yeah, just don't, a don't do my queen like that. <laughs> my queen does not deserve this type of treatment. <laughs> <laughs> but no, like going back to the second seven thing, mm-hmm. another thing that I wanted to bring up, which was I find very interesting that they would poke fun at Namco for it, which is I, I don't know if y'all saw about the whole Tecmo thing. DOA doing that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. Oh, damn. Yeah, they kind of poke fun at the whole frame data thing. It's like, you can do this for free with their um, core fighters thing or whatever. Yeah. Six core fighters. And it's like, it's like, yo, your game's doing worse than Soul Calibur 6. And Soul Calibur 6 is a dress em up game. Exactly. Uh, I I suggest, I suggest you know your place. (laughs) There's only, there's only one, there's only a few characters that have jigglies and they're more sexier than some of the other girls. Yeah. I I would say, I was like, as a person that likes Dead or Alive 6, you guys should not fucking talk shit. They're literally no. on season pass three. The game came out this year. <laughs> oh, and let's not and let's not and let's like let's not let's not forget their season pass is a hundred dollars, which kind of which almost kind of sort of segues a bit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but like their season pass is like a hundred dollars, but Tekken's is thirty dollars, and like the first year was fifty, the second year was thirty, I think, and the third mm-hmm. year is thirty. Mm-hmm. And they expect. I'm sorry. And then it's like, and it's like that for them, for them, for DOA. Yo, most of their shit is just costumes. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't like think hey, they really came out pay, with another character. You can pay twenty dollars. Uh... You can pay twenty dollars for this character, dog. <laughs> I was gonna say, fucking like, I managed to catch up to all the content for season three, and I just had to pay like, I forget, like thirty something dollars, like forty something. I got it on right. sale. I don't even remember. <laughs> right. And then, and then with the season pass, don't you get the frame data stuff for free anyway? Or is that like completely separate? Uh, From what I've heard, it's separate. Oh. So, okay. okay. I've cool. heard two things about this, but I'm going with what I saw on Event Hubs, which mm-hmm. because Murray told them to change it. And from my understanding, it comes with the season pass. Hmm. So you've already paid like like me. I've ar- well, I've already had the thirty be paid for me. Right? Exactly. So it's like, boom. Okay, I already got it. It's a resource that I can make use of. Mm-hmm. And even then, that would help. And oh, but you see, see, here's another thought. Here's another thought that I had too. Right. Mm-hmm. With the new with the new frame data, it's also it would also be easier to keep up with the frame data changes between the years in case someone didn't. Exactly. Also, side note, I just remembered it was sixty for everything up to season two. Mm. So basically, you're paying for two seasons and a game. Yeah, that's that's about average. That's isn't fine. That like, isn't that that's like a hundred and eighty? Oh wait, are we talking about Tekken or DOA? Tekken. Tekken. Okay, never mind. Cause, cause I was thinking DOA it should be like 180 now. No DOA, I oh, think it's already 300. <laughs> exactly. They're they're at this rate that they're going, they're probably going to beat Dead or Alive 5's number of DLC, and they have the world record of DLC, mind you. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> so, that's not a good thing. It's not. I like the game, but fuck that. Mm-hmm. I like, I, and don't get me wrong, I like Tekken the most. And I can say, like, it's not a good look, but it ain't the worst thing that they could have done. Yeah, I it's honestly like, am with him. It, it's not good, but I think it's been blown too way out of proportion. It's like for, for DOA, they just bring in the, the hobo costume sets. Dress your characters like hobos. Hey, do not... Do not tell them that hey. they will do it. <laughs> cut, cut that out. 
<laughs> Although I would be interested to see the idea for a I Hobo would too, Hayabusa. But let's not speak on that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, they'll copyright it. They'll do it. They won't hesitate. <laughs> Coming out tomorrow. Uh, Hobo give set. The idea. <laughs> it's like, I hear you, but I'm not listening. <laughs> Just like when I'm talking to my family members. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Damn. It's like, I hear that you're saying things, but I'm really not listening to you right now. <laughs> it's like, I get the spit that you're flapping. <laughs> I'm picking up what you're putting down. I don't like it, though. Uh, oh, uh, there was one point I think Moopsy said about Harada. Uh, somebody said it. I can't remember who. Uh, right. like bringing it, bringing the fame data after so long. Um, mm. I'm part that was of, not me. Uh, I, whoever it was. <laughs> um, a part of me does wonder because I was, I'm kind of going back to something I was saying earlier in the other po- podcast. If Murray has something to do with that as well, of changing his mind the, on it. The frame, what the frame data coming to it? Yeah, because as we know, he's the new producer now. That is um, correct. So it does make me wonder, like, maybe he's been talking to him about it over the years and it's kind of, quote, softened him up, I guess, about it. Um, because he, as we, uh, if you follow them, you know that he's really been more outreaching to the community uh, as mm-hmm. far as, like, their input. What do you think's wrong? What do you think you would like in the future, et cetera? Mm-hmm. How many more titties should we add? Hey. I wouldn't be surprised if he sat down in stream. <laughs> <laughs> you want Oscar to have four titties? Go ahead. <laughs> Please no. Please, that's you want the disturbing. guys to get titties? <laughs> oh no. Well, I guess we gotta get that female audience. <laughs> I was gonna say like, well, it looks like they they're gonna add a transgender character. <laughs> <laughs> it, that's but that's Leo. We already have one. Yeah, yeah actually, you're right. <laughs> wow. Well, well, to be fair, Leo, is, Leo, Leo, whatever. He's he's a he. She's a question mark. We don't he, know what is what whatever he, she is. you want it to be. And that's the beauty <laughs> exactly. Of it. <laughs> so it's a so it's a question Leo's mark. Leo's a basketball <laughs> <laughs> with hands and feet. <laughs> Don't question it. Mm-hmm. It's just a bunch of mice that are like <laughs> formed a person through like a suit. <laughs> hey, I'm okay or with that. Like, <laughs> or it's like two or it's like two children in a trench coat. <laughs> Big old yikes, but I'm okay with that. Let's face it though, Kazuya would beat up two children in a trench coat. <laughs> really? <laughs> I don't know, he would he would throw them in the volcano. Yeah. You think he gives a shit? He would throw Heihachi into them, into the volcano. <laughs> <laughs> he throws him like a football. <laughs> Punts him. <laughs> Spiral. <laughs> and then just give that creepy smile at the end. <laughs> with the oh, camera. Bro. Actually, you just reminded me of something I wanted to ask Eddie before because of Main Man, but I'm doing that later. Um, right. But back to this, basically, that's my thought process on like how this came to be. Although it's interesting that um, King J actually predicted this was going to be the feature for um, season three. Like, you can literally go back and say it's going to be frame data. And everybody's like, you're crazy. And here we are. (laughs) You're a saint now. (laughs) You're a witch. (laughs) (laughs) It's like, uh, it's like, oh, they're going to get, they're going to have frame data. And then he's. He's being negative. Get him. And then, like, I, I told you it was frame data. He was right. Get him. <laughs> kind of. I'm just thinking about that whole he's being negative thing is, is with this thing of frame data. It's like, yeah, pun. <laughs> 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 but, uh, I think that's, that's... good. That, uh, like, I feel like that that's going to make Tekken much more accessible. Thus, even mm. making like solidifying its place even sh- more strongly as the best fighting game out right now. Mm-hmm. Well, especially yeah, and especially to get newcomers to come in. Mm. Yeah, which seems to be happening to... every time. I mean, like I, I wish, I wish a lot more fighting. Like I don't even care about the frame data. I'd rather have more fighting games bring in how to like punish certain moves. Well, I guess MK11 does that too. But I want other games to do it. 
Mortal Kombat 11. Mortal Kombat 11 does not count to me. Yeah, that a... game is too like. I'm just gonna say unique for the it to game, count. The game, the game's meta is the game's meta doesn't allow for that. Yeah, it's kind of funky. Okay, but, but yeah, but but I'm glad Tekken is the first one to really kind of do it. Plus, I do. I said this in the tweet, but I really meant it. Like, I think that replay system is going to help a ton, like an absolute ton, because there's so many times where, you're like, man, how do I beat this move? You watch the replay; it literally tells you, "Do this." Do this, you <laughs> fucking nerd. <laughs> it's like, yeah, like you keep getting like, this thing. This thing will definitely help you. Like, hey, you notice that you're being a little too aggressive. Try slowing down sometimes. Mm-hmm. Hey. hey. <laughs> It's just like, hey, I like I see what it means. Final round, it's getting neck and neck. Just remember to breathe. Exactly. And hydrate. It's like don't forget yeah, to hydrate. hydrate. <laughs> yeah, it's like it's like, would you like a soda? Maybe a little tell, back rub to relax you. <laughs> hell, I tell you, I tell people that all the time. Like, hey, relax. Hey, remember to breathe. Mm-hmm. Because it kills get, people so many I'm times. In, because I, outside of fighting games, just in any competitive situation imaginable. Once I started breathing more and just staying cool, it's just like okay, like all right, I'm good, I'm good. Mm. Like you have to hit me once, well, I feel good, so I'm coming back on you. Mm-hmm. And that'll take you, that'll take you really far. To me, it'll take you really far. It's like you know, some, it doesn't always work out, but if you stay calm in any situation that you had the potential to come back, you probably will. Mm. Because there's anxiety, there's anxiety in losing and in winning. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. And as someone who has a lot of anxiety, I, who who better to understand anxiety than someone with anxiety? But well, also, especially like, the the positive thing that we can get from uh, these kinds of updates is that if they do it, uh, if more companies do it, then it'll become a norm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And it's like the like now DOA seven isn't gonna have frame data, and instead they're gonna charge forty five dollars for it. Oh jeez, please no! <laughs> Even no, you, I can you so the, see that happening. <laughs> you want the well? I I could see the worst nightmare happening. You want the jiggle jiggle physics? Sixty dollars, please. Oh jeez. You. <laughs> <laughs> you are fake news. <laughs> you're you're worse than the onion. <laughs> it's gonna be huge. Uh, no. I mean, yeah, fucking like just. Let's stop talking about Dead or Alive because I hope to God Seven is like fucking great. <laughs> six is doing nobody favors. Six is a filler arc. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Hardcore. Uh, Dead or Alive Six? What? <laughs> but uh, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> now, one thing I did want to bring up though, with the whole new things that are coming up, is I'm actually, especially for new players, excited for the sample combos. Because a lot of people were in the chat, which you know how the chat is. It's toxic as hell. But a lot Absolutely. of people were really going into the sample combos. It's like, yeah, but we already know the most optimal things. I'm just like, you may know that. But a person not every, coming in Not everybody not has the information imaginable. <laughs> mm-hmm. Like, people, yeah. players who are learning tech and don't know optimal combos. Mm-hmm. And it's like, that's what they have. And it's like, even then, sample combos are exactly that. Sample combos. Mm-hmm. And if they're doing them. sample combos, it's, that's exactly what it is. It's a sample. It's mm-hmm. like, hey, when you get to this particular point, here's something that you can do. Mm-hmm. I feel like there's like a music equivalent for it. There probably is. If I say, Why is it Draz here? <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> if anyone would know, it'd be her. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, no, I, I'm very interested in seeing when this happens. Although, I will say... And it's interesting that it's not even coming out with Leroy. It's coming out a little bit after. But at the same time, like we said, it's probably taking a lot of resources. So it is what it is. Yeah. And mm-hmm. and and you know what? It is objectively difficult to use developer resources on anything for three years after mm-hmm. release. Especially yeah. with sales slowing down or and stuff like that. Yeah, so it's not only are you working with older tech, but you also have to make sure that like the code that's written in actually works correctly. It's not just a simple copy paste scenario. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I, I'd probably be alone, but I'd even argue fact it's even older than that because it was in arcades for so long. That's all. There's oh. also that. You talked about that in the past too. Mm-hmm. 
the it's like it's even it's a lot older than a lot of these quote new games you keep bringing up <laughs> and it's still doing so much good stuff <laughs> but that's all yeah, i like, had on that what, yeah, yeah, like how come these guys aren't updating tekken 3 by themselves or some shit <laughs> but um is there anything else we want to add on this one nope people are just taking things out of out of context people are getting a little too out of control Mm. those people are the same people who've been at green rank for all three years damn (laughs) those those are those they're the i'm calling them out those are the shitty Alyssa players with twenty five thousand wins but still a brawler (laughs) well that's what i want to ask those those are the phone You guys don't have phones. You guys don't have phones. You guys don't have frames. <laughs> and those are the those are the people, the shitty Eddie players that only do low low attacks because they know nobody can beat them I until, mean, they, three until they find that one player. <laughs> no man. Like all I was gonna say is, and, and I know that this is like a phrase that I know recently it didn't fucking work out, but I'm gonna say it anyway. Uh, if you don't like it, don't buy it. That's I another mean, thing, too. You, you, that's all you really can say at this point. You don't like it, don't get it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it didn't it's work. Just... The, the reason why is because, well, I, who was it? Fucking EA or something when they said that? So I'm just kind of like, you know, I, I'm going to use try to use this carefully. Knowing who EA is, I would not be shocked if one way or another uh, it came up. <laughs> micro, Microsoft yeah. did it at the turn of the uh, current console generation, too. Oh, uh, yeah. Fuck correct. Me. Yes. That well, is EA, right. EA, did, EA had did it for uh, Battlefield 1. Mm-hmm. I think it was 5. Which is like, or Battlefield 5, yeah, because I think they had a female soldier and it was a black yeah. chick. So you know how the chat turned out for that. And it's like, oh, no. Uh, is that a black person on my screen? Yo, get it out of here. It's like, hey, dog, if you don't like it, don't buy it. It's like, okay, we won't. Hey, guys. No, wait. <laughs> wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Let, let's not be hasty here, okay? <laughs> Hold now, fire. she is she is African American. <laughs> She's also half Asian. <laughs> Bring really? it back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's like now, well, now that you say it like that, <laughs> I mean, like hell, I I still haven't bought banjo. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, I guess we can move on to the next one, right? I think yeah. so. Yeah. yeah, which is Fallout seventy six. So, all right. So, what the hell's going on now? <laughs> well. <laughs> They decided that for their dedicated fan base of, I don't know how they're dedicated like this, but it is whatever. But they decided to say, hey, dedicated fan base, now we have a subscription service. Yeah. What? (laughs) So it's called Fallout 1. And what the subscription service basically gives you is private worlds. A survival tent, which basically means you get fast travel now with your stash and sleeping bags and stuff. You get a scrap box, which means unlimited storage now. Uh, 1,650 atoms, which is the in-game credit uh, currency. A ranger outfit and icons and emotes. Can I also add one thing? What's up? Uh, Ability to mod. Yes, ability to mod. Um, Which is a whole other thing in itself. But... (laughs) It, it is, but it's also a big thing. Yeah. <laughs> um, and this is going to cost you, by month, $13. And if you're going to go for the 12-month subscription, it's $100. So, so the <laughs> monthly is more than a Netflix subscription, and then the yearly is more than a freaking PS Plus subscription. <laughs> that Correct. Federal Life six, uh, season pass doesn't look so bad now, does it? <laughs> <laughs> Correct. No, no, it, it, it's still it. It's still bad, yeah, but... It's still pretty bad. <laughs> <laughs> Just memeing. <laughs> but that's not even the best part, though. Because it launched, right? And some people did it, and it's crashing. Oh, it's not gosh. working right. The uh, private I'm sure world. It's hinder, Hindenburging right now. <laughs> that and uh, the scrap, the scrapbook that was supposed to keep your money in it would glitch out, and it'll just take all of it from you. Yep. 
You just or, randomly lose items. <laughs> yeah, some money stealing warlock all of a sudden shows up. Mm-hmm. It would it would be like it would just like start shaking and then just fly off into the sky and just be like, oh shit, there goes it might as well shit. be. <laughs> <laughs> but no, not even the, the private servers are working because people can still get into the private servers. What? Yeah, I heard something about that where uh, <laughs> it where people would go into private servers and mobs were already dead by the time mm. they got in. Yep, mobs. Yeah, there's NPCs now and whatnot, as well as enemies, and they'd be already dead by the time you come back. <laughs> That's just funny that like that like you're just like ah oh, man I I'm I'm in my own private server I can do whatever I want the all alone all of a sudden you just see some guy just sup <laughs> it's like what the what are you doing in here <laughs> I don't know just booted me here <laughs> here's a here's a get out. Here's a... Yeah, like here's another one. here's another uh, bit of gold for you too. Um, people player Fallout seventy six players who didn't purchase the hundred dollar a year pass are griefing the people that did. Mm-hmm. Yeah, which I mean, talk about community backlash. Am I right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what, what do you mean? Oh, like, yeah. like they're crying for them? No, 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 no. They are going in and they're fucking them up in game. Mm-hmm. Yeah, oh, griefing things a term that basically means that like you go in and just harass these motherfuckers. Jesus. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, because like it was in this one video from your nemesis, Jess. Unfortunately, I watched the guy. Yeah. Um, I don't mind you watching him. I just don't like him. <laughs> I, I know. <laughs> the nemesis. What's up with it? <laughs> well, we'll go into that later because he, he uh, all I know is that he doesn't like the guy, and I know that's all about it, uh, all the detail I have. But anyway, <laughs> um, but. Apparently, what he says is that people have been getting pissed because the, you, there have been some people going around and doing that like subtle thing where it's oh, it, like this guy's like this isn't as bad as you guys are making it out to be. Like because it starts off with oh, uh, th- there's there's no paid cosmetics. Then they add paid cosmetics and they say oh, it's just cosmetics. It doesn't affect the game. Then they start like throwing in uh, wep- like paid weaponry. And people are saying, "Oh, this is pay to win," and the other guy, the apologists are basically saying, "No, this these weapons aren't that strong compared to like the end game and stuff." And so I imagine it's those people that are fucking getting griefed hardcore. Mm. Nope, no. nope, it's, nope. That's they they were very specific in that article. They were saying like if you had that that Fallout One icon and someone who didn't have that icon saw you, it's on site. Damn. Yeah, but I imagine the apologists were we would be the ones buying it. The apologists, the apologists are the Fallout One members. <laughs> no, that's exactly. it. And to be honest, even the people griefing them are kind of apologists in themselves. Let's be honest here, because <laughs> they're still playing that shitty ass game. <laughs> oh yeah, that's true. Somebody should just. What's the name of the guy who developed it? Beside Howard. Yeah, what's the name? Howard. What? Todd Howard? Todd, Howard. Todd, Todd Howard. Howard. Somebody should just grab him and just slap him and just stop trying to make improvements to this game. It's like it's done. That's stop gonna, it. Well, we'll see. That's the thing. He's uh, he's uh, he's trying to find out ways to uh, get to uh, sell you Skyrim on your iPhone 3GS. <laughs> no, he's he's trying to he's trying to figure out how to sell Skyrim to my baby's first computer. I wish I could somehow take 2019 Eddie, like like this current podcast Eddie, and send him back to let's say like early 2018 and have him uh, talk about the shit that uh, Bethesda pulls. <laughs> I only like Todd Howard for the memes. Hmm. Yeah, but then but then people would think he's just some crazy person. <laughs> No, you probably would think, what the hell are you doing here? <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh my god, the universe is caving in on itself. You can't have two of the same people at the one spot. I don't know, like, people would just be like, fuck that. Does, is Trump still our president? <laughs> <laughs> You're wasting your time with this shit? <laughs> it's not, and, it's not, it's nothing, and it's nothing like that either. It's like, if I ran into Todd Howard, I'm pretty sure he wouldn't be like, hey, what's up, man, or... Who is this person? The first thing he would be he would say is security. <laughs> security. Yeah, right. There's a Negro next to me. <laughs> I can tell see him do that. <laughs> yeah, he kinda has that air. Like, uh, security. There's this uh there's this Negro here standing <laughs> next to me here. 
I would like him escorted off the premises, please. Or it's like, it's like first, like, oh wait, 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 wait. Uh, do you like the Fallout? No. Uh, security. <laughs> oh, double, double. <laughs> yeah, d- double, double security, please. Get, get the tasers. Starts assuming like super bad shit. Like I'm sure he's got a gun. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, he's, black. he's black. They're all they're always all armed all the time. <laughs> Turns into that Boondocks episode. He's got a gun. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> I think I see it now. <laughs> oh man. But uh oh, there was uh, something else I was gonna add to that, which was apparently now I'm not sure how this works because I'm not really in PC stuff or whatnot. But as you know, like with the private servers, you should be able to allow your friend and stuff in there whenever, right? So apparently if the person who owns the server is not on, like on, nobody can enter that server. No matter if you gave them allowance or not. The hell? So yeah, basically like say if Moosey wanted to go into my private server for whatever reason, it's just to, I don't know, kill something in there or whatever. If or I'm not my on, shoes in there or something. Exactly. He left something in one of the the things that keeps eating <laughs> people's items. <laughs> uh, if I'm not on, he can't do it. So, that sucks. Yeah, it's that's a whole other stupid thing that I don't understand. Yeah, <laughs> and it also regards to the PC thing, like the like I was saying earlier. You can't mod the game unless you're a member of fucking Fallout. Whatever the fuck it's fucking called. I don't even care. Oh, the whole... Like a... They're private. Uh, not private. Um, the launcher? Uh, like, if, if you're not... I, I don't I remember hearing that. Apparently, if you're not a member of Fallout first, you're not even able to mod the game. Ah, oh, yeah. Yeah. That seems like an objectively terrible thing. Yes. Absolutely. <laughs> Which wasn't that one of the big things they were talking about during their press conference of the game? Like I feel like I, it was. <laughs> I don't know, but we because I think we'd have to watch those uh, reaction videos that we did to uh, Bethesda to, to E3. <laughs> and... I'll just go to the highlights, which is basically uh, your girl Eddie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she made it. Out. She made it out. She got free. That she did. Yeah. <laughs> he did. Like I am that's not that's sitting that. through three hours of this shit. <laughs> I don't even want to sit fifteen seconds. <laughs> we go to the girl and then to Doom. That's it. <laughs> yeah. Yo, where's Spider Man? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Spider Man. <laughs> but nah, uh, I, I'm just I'm shocked that this game has such a dedicated following. Like, I, I well, don't okay. understand it. <laughs> yes, I'm sure it's the hardcore Fallout fans. It's like, the people that have been following it probably like since the beginning, like uh, the first one or something. Mm-hmm. The part for me that I... It, it just keeps me like... I'm not going to say I'm shocked because, of course, I'm not. Mm-hmm. But the part that just keeps... Uh, it has me shaking my head to the point that I have a crick in my neck uh, is... They keep trying to make this game work. Like, we've seen many other game companies have more successful titles fail not as bad, and they still fucking drop them. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, Bethesda is just kind of like, no, man, we can fix this. We can fix this. It's like, dude, not only is this ship on fire, it's been, like, underwater for 10 years now. I'm pretty sure I saw some sharks in there. (laughs) No, man, we can get it out. It's fine. (laughs) <laughs> and I'm sure the trucks are on fire too. <laughs> no, no, the, the, the horse, the horse just needs some food. Is all. There are maggots crawling all over it. No, no, that's just saliva. Look, look, see, come and ride off. Look, see, it's alive. Come on, come on, giddy up, giddy up. <laughs> that that horse just changed into a dead panda for some reason. <laughs> that's how bad this is. It changed species. It's our new DLC feature. <laughs> <laughs> It's like, stop it! Stop trying to make this work, jackass! <laughs> look, look, see, I'm, I'm having the zoologist buy him right now. He'll be in an exhibit. No, he's he's retching from the smell! <laughs> it's like, no, it's like, uh, it, it's the same guy. He turns around, puts on a fake mustache, doesn't even put it on right. And he's like, I am the zoologist, Mr. Anyway, uh, this, this animal is clearly fine. 
I'm the zoologist, Mister. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> I'm the like, zoologist, uh, so Mister. So anyway, it's like a Family Guy when Stewie bumps his head and it gets that really nasty gash, and then uh, just for the whole episode. Yeah, and then there's just that part where it's like the maggots have gotten so ad- so advanced that they've perfected space travel. You just see like a little tiny s- space shuttle like come off of his head. <laughs> The funny thing is, making up all these scenarios is more fun than Fallout 76. Bingo! <laughs> well, especially since my... Was it you guys that told me, or was either my brother, that, like, the main final boss, which is that bat thing... That was Jess. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Where it was actually just a creature from one of the Elder Scroll games, mm-hmm. but they just, like, kind of changed up a bit and mm. just made yeah. it a little bigger. They just changed the skin, yeah. Yeah. Same skeleton, same attack pattern, same everything. <laughs> and it's just like, oh my god, like, you guys can't even make a, a, an original monster? <laughs> I still remember that point. It's like, oh my gosh, they have a flying death claw. Wait, that, that's the thing? <laughs> <laughs> that's the last boss? Oh my god, <laughs> it's a hipster death claw. <laughs> I was killing hunters before it was cool. Why could I see that happening? <laughs> <laughs> He has glasses and, like, always has a Starbucks, like, latte in his hand. And for some fucking race in the middle of summer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can so if see that wearing... happening for some reason. <laughs> if, you're not, if you're not wearing a scarf, then get the fuck out of my face. Oh, my God. They, they'd sell it to you as fucking DLC. <laughs> <laughs> they probably would. <laughs> but, uh, oh, yeah. God. Um, anything we want to talk about this dead horse? No, let's stop beating it. Yeah. <laughs> my, right, my, right. my stick my stick broke. <laughs> <laughs> They're trying to sell me a new one. $8.95. <laughs> no. But if you want the solid gold one, it's sixty dollars. <laughs> no, um I don't know too much about this next one, so I'll let you guys uh, answer if y'all want to do this one. Uh which is uh the Two BlizzCon big announcements: Diablo Four and Overwatch Two. Haven't Overwatch. seen either one. Overwatch Two Electric Boogaloo, baby. <laughs> and I'm oh, so, yeah. ha- it's a thing. It is a like thing. I'm. I'm so happy that I was right that it is just going to be an expansion. Well, cause you know why it's just an expansion and not an entirely different game, right? I think so, but tell me anyway. <laughs> Okay, so, yes, okay. but just so that's you good. can really. Yeah, yeah. That's good. That's good though. Overwatch two just being like a massive update, right? Yeah, yeah. It's, no, I guess. Great. I guess like the 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 most comparable thing to it, Jess, would probably be like how they did uh, arcade edition for Street Fighter Five. Uh, yeah, that's what I was okay. thinking. Uh, like I imagine, but because the big reason why the uh, it's not it wouldn't be a, a a different game entirely is because like. A lot of other like developers would want to do it. They don't want to split the community, therefore hurting profits. Oh, makes that makes sense. Yeah, because it's the moment you have uh, a, a chance, like a, a chance for an out for these guys. Uh, that's the moment that they're gonna stop playing the next Overwatch. So it's say Overwatch Two comes out, and it's a totally different game. Uh we'll say one tenth of the community for overwatch is the one that doesn't come back for this. Uh, and with that, that's already less profits. Whereas say if they keep it just as an update, everybody still has a chance to keep playing. Well, especially since so many people have like poured their wallets into getting skins and stuff. Oh yeah. A lot of stubborn people. Like a lot of people would have been pissed. That it's a it's a good move. It's a good move across the board, especially yeah. But I feel like Diablo. Move, yeah. I feel like Diablo Four is a, a cop out. How so? Uh, because of that that the the Diablo Immortal the debacle. No, oh, you, guys, you guys, you guys don't have phones. No, like, yeah, they're not, re- they're not recovering from that. Oh yeah, no, they're <laughs> definitely not. After after they announced uh, Diablo Four, so you guys don't have phones. No, like we confirm, confirm. Confirm. Had phones. We, we were not wrong. Have... <laughs> or it's like, or it's like uh, Diablo Four. Oh, you guys got, you guys got tablets, right? You got tablets. 
So is it that like I, because I I have not seen anything about that. So it is a tablet game or no no or at least no, I don't that, think okay, so. Yeah. That no that was a me. Okay yeah. okay. I, I it hope not. Been... <laughs> that would be <laughs> hilarious. It, it was tablet only. You guys, had I was I, I know I was just making that up, so I don't know yeah, if it's true. Fair or enough, not. Fair enough. Uh, because I was gonna ask, uh, Jess, uh, you play Breath of Fire, right? Correct. Uh, wasn't it that the last new Breath of Fire, like original and all that shit, wasn't it like cell phone or tablet only or something like that? I think so, if I remember correctly. Yeah, because I feel like there was an RPG that was that that did a similar thing, but it was not a meme. Mm hmm. Yeah, the more I think and, about it, I think it is uh, Breath of Fire. Breath of Fire, yeah. excuse me. Yeah, because I remember it was like a, a, a fucking franchise. People were like, oh my god, we need to see this back. And fucking, it didn't take off anywhere because they put it on the worst device for the West. Mm hmm. Yo. <laughs> it was, that reminds me of when I uh, went up for the. I forgot which Japanese conference I was watching. It was like a Tales game. It was, I was like, oh, a new Tales game. Eddie's going to be happy. It's like for the mobiles, like, well, then. <laughs> right, 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 right. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> yeah, like, I was sad about that, too. But they they did they did announce a, a completely different Tales game after that that's hitting the consoles, too. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, it, it, it worked out. There is balance. Mm-hmm. <laughs> This is remember my general reaction. It's like, oh, that's nice. And oh, okay. <laughs> this is where we're going. <laughs> but I mean, yeah, this year it's had like this year and a little, I, it, it's had plenty of memeable, memeable moments, such as like you don't have phones. Uh, although I'm pretty sure that was last year, but I mean, still, we're still talking about it. Uh, Memes never it, die. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's what I mean. Like, it just makes me sad that you see like the great titans of Bethesda and Blizzard just kind of almost crashing down on themselves to the point where even Microsoft would look at them and just be like, "Damn, that's that's Dude, bad." Like Blizzard's been crashing hard since fucking uh, they got bought out by Activision. Mm-hmm. People have been giving them shit since. Yeah, mm -hmm. and like for those of you, like I think that was like around twenty ten ish. Mm, like Somewhere like people people right. were not people were yeah. not fans for a while there. Mm. Yeah, because there's an expansion that I am oh, that I rem like I remember the exact expansion that was coming out uh, for World of Warcraft when, uh, when they got bought out. Mm. Uh, yeah, it was 2010. So like we'll say 2011. Yeah. But yeah, it was around that time when fucking Activision bought out Blizzard, and I was like, I, and I even back then I was just like. Watch this fucking company crash and burn. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and speaking, actually, speaking of the meme, because I just saw this on Twitter. I haven't read the article, but apparently Diablo Four is not coming anytime soon. Shouldn't they? They clearly just said that to shut people up. Exactly. Yeah, like yeah, we're working on another Diablo game. Like, shut up. <laughs> I mean, or rather, not shut up. It's like, hey, please like us again. <laughs> Please leave that. Please <laughs> let it it's die. Like, stop. No, it's like they're, they're going like, stop talking about the phones thing. Okay, we're working on Diablo Four. Okay, can we talk about Hong Kong instead? So only with Diablo Four, right? <laughs> Diablo Four is gonna be quite the game. <laughs> <laughs> Because you guys please. don't have phones. Please, please buy it. My wife thinks I'm a loser. <laughs> <laughs> you guys have computers, right? <laughs> <laughs> You people, you people, you people don't like Hong Kong, right? And it's like, uh, what do you well. mean? And it just all starts over again. <laughs> Seriously. I mean, I mean, you know, we, you know, we were just playing you, right? We, we don't care about Hong Kong. And you always run into that one dude who never speaks Ebonics in their life, but as soon as they see a black person, they just know Ebonics all of a sudden. <laughs> 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 They say it in the most awkward way possible. Like, yo, what's up, G? Like, nah, don't, don't, don't talk to me. Press me some don't slack, Jack. Me. Can you talk to, me? talk to me? Talk to me like a normal person. Don't be you're acting like a douche right now. He fucking looks like Tad Strength from Gravity Falls. No. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Look up that guy if you don't get the reference. Yeah, uh, that's quite a reference there. <laughs> um, I mean, um. I don't really think anything else for BlizzCon though was like well other than the apology thing of course which wasn't really the apology 
It was basically yeah. re reiterating what they were saying before. Yeah, I, like it's fairly breaking, so I would say check out like Young Yeah or something like that. Mm -hmm. Uh for like more details, but from what I have seen, it's basically uh, one of those things where like we're sorry we didn't answer you guys faster and the whole public is goes going like we're 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 pissed cuz you fucking kicked out a guy over money instead of politics or whatever. Yes. Well, you, you mean you mean you, <laughs> you kicked you kicked the guy out of his money because of politics. Bingo. Thank you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I know, then I'm we all got like there eventually. <laughs> yeah. And it's like it just it's just kind of it just kind of pisses me off because it's like, you know, we're supposed to be the land of democracy. And here we are freaking trying to cater to Hong to China's whims. And it's like, no, it's like we're fucking democracy. <laughs> there goes our one Chinese listener. <laughs> I lose a subscriber. <laughs> well, shit. <laughs> <laughs> but no, nah, uh, but yeah, it, like it's it's a big political thing that they, they clearly reacted poorly to. I mean, we can't really add anything else to that. And like the the non apology that they gave is everyone sees through their bullshit and to the point where like also be there there's some like I'm not gonna say like official legitimate concerns because this was from the video but apparently uh there's protests outside of BlizzCon and they like there's people chanting and shit. Mm -hmm. Most understandable. Yeah, we're the poos attacking us. <laughs> I mean, yeah, they gave the money back to the kid, and I think they, I think they released the ban. No, it was they. They have his suspension time. Yes. And I don't think they gave the money back. Yeah, I don't. That's think... what I heard. Like I, that's what that's what well, Blizzard I, well, said in a statement. Well, I'll they, say they... I'll, I'll say think because I don't remember. Okay. Mm. But I mean, you could you could be right. Yeah, I just didn't know if they alleviated the ban. The ban. I mean. Nope. Yeah, no, that part I'm sure about. Okay. Which is still stupid, but whatever. Yeah, same. <laughs> like it's it's, it's their, their their thing was basically like, okay, guys, we we'll give you back your money and we'll just cut your your sentence in half. That makes us good people, right? Bam. Well, well, did you hear about what people what Blizzard was doing to people that were canceling their subscriptions to them? They were uh, fucking for... up the 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 website so they couldn't. Yeah, they were they were that saying that like that, that like forced you... them to put forth like their driver's license or something like that, mm -hmm. a form yeah, of identification to cancel their accounts too. Because mm -hmm. it's like yeah, you have to put in like a certain amount of information, but then when people were doing it, Blizzard was like, okay, so now we're gonna have it to where you have to put more information in, and if you want to cancel your subscription, and I'm like, God, man, like you people are becoming real petty and dirty and i don't like it <laughs> the people the companies that do that shit are the worst fucking scum of the earth and i feel like eddie knows who i'm also attacking whoa scum of the earth i would say that's that. no don't i'm like right that, here that, it sounds like <laughs> it sounds like you're talking about street fighter 5 play <laughs> sounds like you're sounds like you're talking about a company that rhymes with smacks mom <laughs> What? No, Capcom's doing great. You yeah. Know, you pay attention to Monster Hunter. Yeah. Well, yeah, Monster Hunter. Pay attention to Monster, Monster Hunter. No, Monster that Hunter. That Monster Hunter team is killing the game right now. <laughs> Monster Hunter's my and Bible. I would have gave you Resident Evil, Moopsie, until uh, we talked about a, a certain other game that is recently coming out. Um, it's it a project, Estes. But, uh... Oh, that's, that's <laughs> oh, that I mean, game. Why don't think about them? I'm just saying. I don't know I don't know why y'all are doing all this sub talking. You just say it, cowards. <laughs> just say oh, it, screw It's a juggernaut! Holy shit! Just, just speaking of coward, no. <laughs> like, no, no like, I know, okay. right? Like, yeah, just say it, you coward, as I scream like a bitch from a dream. <laughs> it's like fucking Venom says, it's, it runs with Smacks Mom. It's like, that's right, I'm talking about Tecmo. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> nah, man. That's... Nah, man. I, I got beef with Tecmo, man. I, not... had, I got enough beef with them, yeah, but I, I would gonna... give it all you know, if they announced fucking a good. Ninja Gaiden Four. Nah, man. Like the for what what they did what they did to the Dynasty Warrior series Don't even makes get me started on that. Okay, that, that's a fair point because I'm not involved in that camp. Like they make me sick, my man. 
Oh my, I could go hours just on one game alone. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we have in one episode. <laughs> well, thank God, uh, thank God Nintendo bought Fatal Frame from them then. Oh, I'm nice. actually looking forward for that. Have, are, have they started doing anything with that? I don't think mm, so. No. Like, like, aside from the Super Smash Brothers stuff, that's why Fatal Frame is in Smash Brothers a lot. Mm-hmm. Ah. And it's, it's because of the fact that Nintendo bought, Nintendo bought the license. I wish they'd buy out uh, Dead or Alive and Ninja Gaiden. Mm. I wouldn't mind Chances Ninja are low, Gaiden. I know, but I can, I can dream. <laughs> A man can dream, can't he? <laughs> Indeed. Yeah. But uh, do we have anything more for uh, BlizzCon? Uh, I said my two cents. There's still a couple days of it, so let's hope we get a quality meme out of this. Mm-hmm. I know. I, I especially just, I especially just want to see when Overwatch Two comes out. Because I, I would say that, like right now, we are still in prime meme time material. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Yeah, th- those those memers are just itching to just see something and just be like, oh shit, that's funny. <laughs> Quick, type it in. Type it in. Twitter yeah, blows yeah. up. <laughs> <laughs> That's memeable. And then just like, ding, done. <laughs> and release. Why are release into trending? the wild. <laughs> it was like, I, it was like dude, he was using a typewriter. He's like, you don't mail memes. <laughs> it's like a, it's like Todd Howard picking his nose. <laughs> <laughs> Why is Todd Howard trending on my Twitter? <laughs> <laughs> a blizzard. <laughs> Didn't see that. Hashtag, <laughs> hashtag fishing for gold. <laughs> like perfect meme storm. Todd Howard. Todd Howard works on a Blizzard game. Oh jeez. <laughs> that's oh, not even God. a meme story. That's a like a natural disaster waiting to happen. <laughs> Singular. Oh, no, no, I'm sorry. Not not Todd Howard. Uh, Jeff Kaplan. There you go. There that's we bad. go. <laughs> yeah, Jeff Jeff Kaplan picking his nose. The, hashtag the, the fishing people... for gold. The people that are still playing World of Warcraft, they've they've got plenty on on, on they've got plenty on him. <laughs> I know it was weird. Like I was playing an Overwatch match, and I don't know if there's like a pre-order bonus for World of Warcraft because I was I was playing this one Genji. I saw this one Genji player, and he had this like weird World of Warcraft skin on. I. Like, well, go ahead. But I'm like, I I wasn't sure if I imagined that or did I really see that. Well, because uh, it might be because of, of a BlizzCon ticket. Because if you get the virtual tickets, they also give you like free stuff to your account. Yeah. And also, they did uh, apparently today they re- announced uh, the next expansion, so it might have something to do with that. Okay. Yeah. I I, w- I was thinking that too. That like yeah, it's probably a Blizzard BlizzCon thing. Mm-hmm. But it looked yeah. cool though, because like it made it made Genji look like a character from World of Warcraft. Legion was one of the last good expansions. I have no hope for this next. I one. think I think that was the character he was supposed to look like. Was that one demon dude from Legion? Illidan? Well, I mean, why am I saying names? You won't understand them. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's, it's just guy. that hairy guy with the green eyes. <laughs> okay, yeah, I know who you're talking about. Yeah, but he looks cool, and I'm like, oh, I kind of want it. I could throw out like 50 names right now, and Jess would be like, sure. <laughs> <laughs> it's getting jutsu all, at me. All of them. <laughs> You didn't do those hand signs. Come... <laughs> <laughs> fucking, like, I say those names and Jess would be like, are you casting a spell or something? It's Halloween like, is it's like, over. <laughs> yeah, it's, like, it's like Jazz, Joss turns into one of those dads that's just like, that's just like, enough of your, enough of your street talk. <laughs> he goes like, how do you do, fellow children? <laughs> yeah, Aridin, like, sorry, son, I don't listen to hip hop. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I mean, that, I think that's about it. It was going to be a short episode to begin with, anyway. Correct. So, all right. That's... So, what what was this thing you wanted to talk to me about, Jazz? Um, it was about like Kazia's thing from when he started to where he is now. Oh, he's going to talk about Kazia's revenge. Dear God, <laughs> 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 that is one thing I want to so block out of my memory. <laughs> oh, are you, are you talking about the? Is it, are you talking about the live action Tekken movie? Yes. Well, the second oh. one that came out. Yeah. Yeah, but I was just memeing. Yeah. Oh, okay. No, uh, I wanted to talk to you about his like progression because me and the main man were actually talking on his stream about it, um, and he was talking about how 
like Kazuya in the beginning, he felt more like a anti-hero ish person, mm-hmm. and I think it was around four to five somewhere he just became straight evil, and then yeah, that was e- it. He's not evil. He, he's just a dick. <laughs> Which I did bring up. He said, no, nah, he's, he's definitely more evil this time around. Especially when you bring up the other CGI movie, which shall not be named <laughs> for reasons. It's better than the live actions, but it still was bad. Uh, yeah, it makes me it makes me wonder, is Jin mm. technically evil? He sure as hell ain't a hero. Yeah, he's no hero. I, yeah. I, I mean, would he... definitely say he fits what Kazuya was at first, which is more of an anti-hero person. Well, because it's like he he resurrected this monster by almost eradicating the whole world, even though the mm. monster was freaking sealed up by Zafina. Well, God apparently, it, so, just so, so he could kill it. Here's the thing about that. Apparently, it was calling <laughs> out to him in, in a way. And if, 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 from my understanding of what happened in the Tekken Six story, if he didn't do something about it, someone else would have, and then it would have basically ended the world anyway. So basically, he took it upon himself to do that in order to kill the monster himself. That's still fucked up, though. It's definitely fucked up. But um, that's and, I mean, hell, my I mean, hell, that's why happened. that's why Miguel wants to kill Jin. Oh, absolutely. Uh, and so, wait, yes, just so because I might have missed this. Uh, so, were you on the side that Kazuya is evil or that he's just a dick? I was on the more of the side that he just kind of became a dick. <laughs> uh, Kazuya. Like, evil or just a dick <laughs> especially Disgusting. when you uh take into the count of the recent tekken 7 story like you kind of see how he got to the way it was because he literally didn't understand what was happening around him the whole thing about his mother trying to kill his father and um all that other things around that all he knows is that he killed his mom and he tried to kill uh, him <laughs> plus volcanoes plus volcanoes <laughs> Um, and, and then plus, wasn't he just? Didn't he just really want the Mishima Zaibatsu? Uh, not necess- yeah. It was more of an extra thought, to be honest. <laughs> oh, okay. Like, yeah, yeah, it's nice to be it, but in the end, he really just wanted to end his father. <laughs> Which is also funny because I think I don't. I think Kuma has it now. No, Jin has it now, but Kuma mm. originally was supposed to inherit it. <laughs> mm. From from Heiachi. Hmm. Although technically we don't really know who has it now if you go by the Tekken 7 story. Because Jin just came back. Mm. And at, at the time, Heihachi was the the person. Although he's dead. Well, dead. Per se. Well, te- <laughs> yeah. well, te- technically, wouldn't, wouldn't Kazuya have it now? It's like he's Tekken dead. Yes and no. <laughs> it's kind of complicated where they left it. <laughs> because like, I would like this. Well, I'm just I'm just gonna throw in my two cents on this. It's like I imagine he would be it would be yes because of a next of kin thing, but that's about it. Yeah, like the, the way they seem to do it is like they go into the whole whoever gets there to the actual building itself and claims it. It's like yeah, that's them. And technically, <laughs> at this point, neither of them have. <laughs> I just, so... imagine, I just imagine Jin and Kazuya just going to the Mishima headquarters. <laughs> I'm here first. <laughs> it's like Venom, Venom. You're overthinking this. All they have to do is make Tekken Kart Racing. Oh, God, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> <laughs> then for some reason, it plays the Crash Team yo, Racing theme. Yo, dude, <laughs> like, like. Stab yourself in the back of the head. <laughs> like, you know, you said some, you've been saying some cursed shit since we became friends. I feel like that's the, that's the apex of it right there. And let me be the first person to tell you, dog, I don't I don't think I appreciate it. Did you say it'd be a legend in the apex? Yeah, dad joke. Yeah. Fulfilling the quota. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you brought it up earlier. <laughs> <laughs> but no um, basically going off of that though my thing was what do you think about that since you're really the other Kazuya person that I know like what would you think about that oh is he a dick or is he um, evil he's at an, this point he's an asshole but he wasn't like a born asshole he was a developed asshole kind of like all of us mm-hmm. like it's like, like if he just lived a peaceful life he wouldn't be like this Mm. But because but because he had to deal with 
oh man, my dad killed my mom, and then now my dad's trying to kill me. He chumped me in a volcano. It's just like, well, family tradition, son. Mm-hmm. It's a living. <laughs> Which I, I'm curious, because maybe you know, but I don't know if they've ever said that Jimpachi did that to a Hachi. No. So let's say that's when it started. Then was a Hachi and Kazuya. Then, a lot like that's what that's what it, it words that were that's what it would be implied. <laughs> okay, I forget. Was didn't he do that also to kind of awaken the devil gene in Kazuya? Oh, is that something? Did okay. that just happen to him randomly? It kind of happened to him randomly, mainly because after he killed Kazumi, he knew that the uh, Kazuya would probably have the same gene that she did. So yeah. basically, it was kind of his way of saying, I'm going to stop this now before it gets too out of hand. And unfortunately, it awoken. Which is funny, too, because like it, it awoken right after he landed in mm. the volcano. It awoke, and then uh, Heihachi was like, Oh my god! <laughs> oh <laughs> my god! <laughs> That's not funny. He's passed away. <laughs> as we know. know. <laughs> like, as far as we know. <laughs> Let's be honest. Nah, we didn't see the body else. technically go into the lava. <laughs> oh no, no, I'm sorry. I meant the voice. Yeah, he's talking about the actor. Oh, that. Yes. Rest in peace. Yeah, the voice actor. The voice actor died. But remember what happened in Tekken Five? Remember, guys? Come on, come on now. Yeah, he blew up like literally, far as like a, a good explosion there. It was just fine. It was oh, like, no, how dare you leave me? <laughs> <laughs> like, dude, you should be dead. <laughs> That's what everyone's thinking, but it's like, I don't know, like, because now we should probably just move on to a new arc where I guess it's between Jin and his father and Kazuya now. Like, mm. this would be a perfect jumping off point, honestly. Mm -hmm. like, I, I really do feel like that's probably where they're going to go. And anybody, like I've said before, anybody who's wondering if Heihachi's probably going to be in the next game, he can be. All we need is a flashback. Just look at Kazumi. Either <laughs> that or just, like, release him as like post launch DLC. That too. Literally. It's possible. But hopefully mm -hmm. they just go with uh old Heihachi. None of, none of this young Well, if, well I mean if if man, it really doesn't you. matter to the young story was it could be either one. <laughs> but the thing is young Heihachi really is part of the tag universe. He's not really and part it, of the normal one. It's not it's not canon. Yeah. So I can say that. It's like yeah, like young Heihachi was great. It's like imagine imagine Heihachi just doing Heihachi things. Like that's essentially what young Heihachi was. Mm -hmm. Well, and and I'll I'll give it that if they make him like a customizable item, then that's fine. Yeah, they but have I just it don't in want second it. Seven, don't they? It's that's in there. That's yeah. already yeah. there. So, but I just don't want it to be his base appearance. I want him to just be old Heihachi. Mm -hmm. I'll, you just like older men. That's what that is. Because <laughs> <laughs> they're badass. <laughs> Nah. <laughs> nah, I'm not buying it. <laughs> I'm not buying it whatsoever. You can't convince me. You like old men. <laughs> that being said, yo, what's up? No, I'm, I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, <God>. oh, no. <laughs> uh, I, like, I like to inform the, the... I like to inform the viewers that this is now a NC-17 stream. It when started it off as a NC-17. <laughs> We're way past no, that. NC-17, the moment I mentioned kart racing. <laughs> Too far. No, it, no, it became 18 plus when we said, hi, guys, welcome back to the movie. And it was gone. <laughs> it, it, became, it became XXX when I mentioned underwear. Mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I had forgotten about that. God damn you. <laughs> I did I my best to forget, but the memory still haunts me. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I close my eyes, I just see him. <laughs> yeah, man. But now, that was one of the things I wanted to ask you, Eddie, because it was one of those things where it's like, I wonder if this is something that I just am missing, and like, maybe Akazia Main would know more about this. You know I'm um, not Akazia Main anymore. Well, I know that, but you played it out of... <laughs> Everybody we know, you're probably the one who plays in the most. <laughs> the way, the way, the way, uh, no, that's true. The way Baker, the way Baker said that, it's almost like he was like, ah, oh, man, I kicked that stuff years ago. <laughs> like, like, like he's a drug. You brought that drug back to me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. 
No, I was just curious though, about that. But uh, yeah, my my answer is that he's he's just a dick. <laughs> hmm. Just a straight up dick. Hmm. I mean, look at the first time he tried to kill Heihachi. He just grabs him and throws him into the jacks. Which became the meme. Of, oh, I thought you meant the very first time. <laughs> oh, I mean the time, the time when he, the time when he just threw him into the jacks. No, because this is the very first time he threw him into a volcano, and it became yeah. a meme. <laughs> With that goofy ass smile. <laughs> oh god, that, that 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 helps me sleep to this day. Actually, Jess, wasn't that the footage that they showed with Snake? Uh, that was Tekken Two with Daihachi. Ah, okay. Yeah, where he basically did the same thing to Kazuya again, and then he just <laughs> smiles into the camera with that goofy ass <laughs> smile. <laughs> Family tradition. <laughs> yep. Like well, father, so like son. Tossing people into the volcano. Dude, that <laughs> happens. Although, <clears throat> from what I hear about Sindel, <laughs> it'd be like Sindel's changing. If that happens. <laughs> I was going to say, what, she throws Kitana into, into a volcano? <laughs> Although, the way they describe her, I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> That'd be hot. <laughs> well, especially since, <laughs> nice one, Eddie. Especially <laughs> since she's still, a, she's still a revenant. Yeah, but, like, they, oh, they basically I... changed her origin. Uh, to, like, she used to be known as the good person kind of turned evil. Now she's yeah. barely always been evil. <laughs> <laughs> was she Stephanie McMahon in the tr- when she marries Triple H? Might as well like, be. oh, I, I was always, I was always evil, <laughs> even though you yeah. drugged me and forced me to marry you. <laughs> the fuck? Wrestling's weird. Don't ask questions. I, no, I mean, I used to watch it. I just never paid attention to storylines. No, no. Yeah. Yeah, nah, I just remember. I, rem- I remember that shit vividly. Unfortunately, my sister told me about that, and I I still was like, "What?" <laughs> <laughs> so like, yeah, man, just just complicated wrestling stuff, dog. You wouldn't understand. <laughs> <laughs> like, like we, like we wish, we wish, bro, that we could forget that we can't. <laughs> yeah, there's there's some parts from when I used to watch wrestling that I can't forget. It's like, it's like it's yeah, it's weird, but it still pertains to the topic. <laughs> what were we talking about before we started this? Kazuya, oh, being shit. evil uh, or a dick. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't there something else that we were supposed to talk about too? No, that was we're, all we I were had, wrapping really. up with Blizzard. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's all I, I had. Like, mm-hmm. I felt like there was something else after that too. If there was, no, it was a question. Then, yeah, because <laughs> I can't think of what else it could have been. I think I think it was that because I think it was like we were fishing, finishing up with Blizzard and then you asked your question and then yeah. I think we're good. I can All think right. of one other thing we could do, but that'd be just mainly you, Eddie. <laughs> All right, what's up? Um, the Modern Warfare review. Oh, yeah. The, I mean, like with any game, because I'm streaming it right now, live, baby. How do you guys like that plug? Eh, I'm, right. it, was, it, was, it wasn't it wasn't a very good plug but then again when you compare so, it to Kazi's electrics you know like nothing really compares to plugs like that i thought he was gonna God say something it. more along the lines of it's not a very good plug but then again this isn't a very good stream whoa damn whoa, whoa. how dare you not like this i'll have you know i am inter- i am entertaining four people right now <laughs> son of a bitch and I don't think I, appreci- I, I don't took, think I appreciate that. It mm-hmm. took me ten minutes to get ready, ten whole minutes <laughs> to put to sit down and put on my microphone and headphones. Why? You know what? Never mind. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna pursue this. What is happening? Nah, man. Modern Warfare is good. It's one of the better COD games to come out in a while. Mm-hmm. And I feel like I feel like. The game isn't as balanced as it could be, but the main issue with the game is the player base. Well, there's always the, a there's always an issue with player bases. No, it's like it's like the player bases. God damn it! Why are so many people camping? But those same people that are camping are the same people who are sitting in corners with shotguns, waiting for people to run by. I hear I hear it's worse in ground war. It, it, you, ground, ground War is a maddening game mode. I'm going to be real with y'all. I've seen it's like, it and I'm already mad. Because <laughs> it's like all you have to do is just get a group of snipers, uh, 
lay it lay at a building on a rooftop of a building and then just start picking them off but see but to, but see as someone who plays ground war regularly it all makes sense mm-hmm. it all, it's, it's all right it's all right because the experience gained from it is is it makes up for the bitch tactics mm. if you ask me mm-hmm. that's, why like, like, that's why i like that's why i like watching though. uh that's why I like watching footage of like guys finding creative ways to kill those campers that are like up on the rooftops. I like just, I saw the. Oh, sorry. Yeah, like it, it. Like I mean, if you if you pursue them hard enough, you'll kill them eventually. You know. Like I like I saw one guy pilot a helicopter and then just kill him with the blades of the helicopter. <laughs> yep. So he just so he just like sliced him up. It's like damn, that's a pretty creative way to. Get rid of them, dude. Imagine yeah. if they were using the Metal Gear Revengeance uh, engine for COD. Yeah, for the whole slicing thing. Oh, oh. God! Oh God! <laughs> like, that sounds badass. Badass. Screw you guys. That sounds maddening. Let's slice and dice. <laughs> I think that's what Right Raiden says. <laughs> Raiden. Fuck it. I think Jazz got it, uh, got uh, offended. <laughs> no, I just was drinking my drink. Yeah. <laughs> All I can think of is literally somebody just yelling, not yelling, uh, laughing, like Raiden. <laughs> I do like that. Okay. I do like that. I do like that. Uh that metal that metal jaw that he has mm. and how he does yeah, like how he actually doesn't speak with his uh mouth and teeth mm. i think that to me i think that's just like really fucking cool are you yeah that's, mm. that's a real cool feature mm-hmm. yeah yeah i really i really like that i think that's really cool but then again i'm a fan of modern and slash modern slash futuristic technology like that mm-hmm so something like that is just like, oh man, that is so badass. God, I wish I could play Metal Gear Solid Four again. What's well, stopping you? No PlayStation Three. Can't you emulate? It? Wait to PlayStation Five. No. Yeah. I mean, I sold my copy. That's also another problem. Damn, I can't help you now. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I gotta, I gotta get the Legacy Collection. You guys don't have five bucks. <laughs> Apparently not with the way they're acting about this frame beta in second dog. <laughs> Dude, candy was yesterday, man. I gotta pay bills now. <laughs> so like four dollars is a travesty. It's just like, yo, I thought I was a broke nigga. Like <laughs> like Jesus. I ain't think it's that bad. But if I use these five dollars, all I'll have left is one dollar. <laughs> Like, that dude has uh, $6. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm sorry, man. I paid $4 for the f- frame data, but I would rather spend one more dollar on a $5 footlong from Subway. Hashtag <laughs> not sponsored. <laughs> also, hashtag please sponsor me. <laughs> hashtag footlong in my mouth. <laughs> He knows why. Mm. <laughs> Even I wasn't gonna say something like that. Like, <laughs> I feel like they'd be better off sponsored by Terminator right now, since they're the one doing the bits. Ooh, I tried. Hashtag. Yeah, that's right. And I still tried to cheer. I tried to do a Terminator one cheer when you were streaming on your birthday, and just and it just would not let me do it. <clears throat> mm. Yeah, but for some reason like... with those, it's kind of bugged. Hmm. You know what you should have done, Jess, is you should have done a down three. Damn it. Next Man, time, you're right. I'm going to anti-air the shit <laughs> out of those ads. So <laughs> <laughs> like, well, hindsight's twenty twenty. Get off my back. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm not shooting at me. I think we've hit our stuff then. Nice. I believe so. Yep. All right. Let's bring it on home. Oh. All right. Uh, thank you, everybody, for listening to this special uh, no-name podcast, Emergency Extras. The reason we call it Emergency is because we had a limited window to do this while it was still relevant. So uh, thank you very much for listening. My name has been Mr. Moopsy. 
This is Cosmo Jazz. Thank you all for listening. I just turned 28, so yay happy for my birthday yesterday. And y'all have a solid November. We're old. <laughs> According to my mom. <laughs> <laughs> and to the rest. Especially the rest. <laughs> How old is Rowdy again? <laughs> Rowdy's like 19. Oh well, yeah, we're old to him too. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Steal yeah. his youth. <laughs> Time add, it, add it to our own. <laughs> <laughs> Eddie, you're next. Oh. oh, I'm sorry. I thought everybody was handling the plugs. Right, yeah, right now I'm still live streaming. I'm streaming some COD, Spec Ops, and multiplayer, whichever whichever my mood gravitates towards at the moment. I'm currently live now. If you guys want to come in and talk shit, please talk shit. It helps my stats. <laughs> Do it. And then clip that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then clip it all. Clip it all. It it just helps the stream grow. I need to clip that Luigi board bit. <laughs> Dude, that Luigi board bit was great. <laughs> Thanks. And lastly, Venom. I was going to say, and Venom's just here, I guess. <laughs> yeah, um... So yeah, just just keep following me at a uh, Venom eight seven five four two, and uh, I've been I've been doing some streaming. I haven't done any let's plays in a while, but hopefully I'll get back into it soon. And so yeah, so just watch me on YouTube, and yeah. All right, and uh, I guess. Because I don't know if this would count, uh, Jess, or if I should mention this. Uh, let me see. Because uh, I think this is going to be one of the topics for like when we do a full-on podcast. Uh, let me have? just uh, send it as a message. Right. So I believe we're going to be talking about that, right? Yeah, let's wait for that. Yeah, like that's definitely going to be a podcast one, but... Uh, because what I've been teasing at is we're going to be one of the topics we're going to be talking about is the League of Legends fighting game. So look forward to that. Hmm. And in the meantime, thank you all for listening to this emergency extras. We will catch you all later. Later, bitches.